Consider this bird. Although this image is flat and two-dimensional, we humans can infer its rough 3D shape and even guess what it would look like from another view. In this work, our goal is to build a computational model that can do the same. This task of inferring 3D from a single image is ill-posed and only possible because we have a knowledge of what birds are like from our past experiences. Previous approaches require this knowledge in the form of ground truth 3D shapes, either synthetic shapes from artists or natural shapes obtained through scans. Unfortunately, this approach of obtaining scans may be practically challenging for many animate objects, as they may be unwilling to cooperate with our desires to scan them. Since ground truth 3D is hard to acquire, instead, we propose to use a more natural form of supervision in the form of annotated image collections. Here, we assume that we have many images of an object category, but only one view per instance, and each instance is annotated with a set of semantic key points, as well as the ground truth segmentation mask. Using this image collection with the key point and the mask annotations, we learn a predictor f, which can, given a single unannotated image of a new instance, infer its 3D shape in the form of a mesh, the corresponding camera viewpoint, and the mesh texture. Given these predictions, we have a full 3D representation of the object, which we visualize here by rendering it from novel viewpoints. The predictor f is a CNN, which consists of an image encoder followed by three prediction modules. First, we predict the camera pose, which is parameterized as a weak perspective transform. The second output is the 3D shape of the object. The shape is parameterized as a category-specific morphable model, where a learned category-level mean shape combined with instance-specific predicted deformations instantiate the 3D shape. A benefit of this common category-level representation is that we can learn to associate semantic key points with the mesh vertices and also obtain 3D key point locations from the predicted shape. Lastly, we also predict the mesh texture as an RGB image in a canonical appearance space. To formulate texture prediction as the inference of this 2D image, we note that the different shapes in a category are simply deformation of the mean shape. This mean shape has the same geometry as a sphere whose texture can be represented by a UV texture image, similar to unrolling a globe into a map. The texture in this UV image can be mapped to the sphere and therefore transformed onto the mean shapes or any predicted shape. So to infer the texture of a shape, we only have to predict the colors in this UV image. We do so using a CNN, which predicts this texture image from an encoding of the input image. Instead of directly predicting the pixel values of this texture image, we instead predict a texture flow. Please see the paper for more details. Given the predictions, now we can formulate our objectives, which enforce that the predictions match the image evidence. We minimize the distance between the rendered mask, the rendered image, and the projected key points with the respective ground truth. We use neural mesh renderer, so all of our losses are differentiable. We also incorporate several priors, such as symmetry and surface smoothness. Now we show results of the trained model on test images. Given an input image, we can infer its shape and the texture. Here we show results from multiple views. Our model also captures different shapes, such as wings, and different types of tails. We can also use our output to transfer the texture from one bird to the other. For example, given these two images of birds, we first obtain their reconstructions with texture. Because the texture maps are in a canonical appearance space, we can simply swap the predicted texture maps and easily transfer the texture of the second bird to the first bird and vice versa. Texture transfer also works even when the birds have different shapes, like so. 
Here, we show reconstruction of various test images from 360 degrees. Thank you, and please visit our project website.